हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस वीडियो इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद द प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट वी हैव सीन फॉर द स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर नाउ वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द चेंज ऑफ स्टेट ऑफ मैटर वी नो दैट सॉलिड्स कैन बी चेंज इन टू लिक्विड्स लिक्विड्स कैन बी चेंज इन टू गैसेस एक्सेट्रा टू ब्रिंक अबाउट दीज चेंजेस इन स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट we have to either provide energy or we have to take out the energy from the molecules so the changes in states are always accompanied by energy changes as i said energy is either given or it is taken out from the molecules i have drawn a diagram over here to understand the changes in states solid liquid and gases are the three states and we have numbered the changes with 1 to 5 so the first is solid to liquid that is numbered as 1 1 is called as melting so change of solid state to liquid state is known as melting to change solids into liquids we have to provide energy that is the solid substance is to be heated we know that whenever we provide heat energy to the molecules of substances the energy is taken in as kinetic energy so the heat energy provided to the molecules is stored inside by the molecules as kinetic energy and hence motion of the molecules increases when we heat them so when solids are turned into liquids the molecular motion or the movement of the molecules increases when solids turn into liquid the intermolecular space also increases we observe similar kind of changes when we provide heat energy to liquid and we change liquids to gases so to go from direction left to right which accompanies changes melting boiling and sublimation that is change from solid state to gaseous state we must provide energy to the molecules and the effects that we see after providing energy are more or less similar that is when we provide heat energy and solids turn to liquid or liquid turns to gases the intermolecular force of attraction decreases the motion of the particles increases and they start moving away from each other that is the space between the molecules also increases so going back when we discussed about solids we said that in solids in unit volume there are large number of molecules present so when we turn solids into liquids in the same unit volume number of particles now present will decrease which also decreases density of the substance so here we have to understand one more thing that when we are going from left to right by providing heat energy to the substances the density of the substances also decreases so solids they have maximum density whereas gaseous state it has minimum density now when we are talking about changes in reverse direction that is going from gases to liquid or liquid to solid we have to take out energy from the molecules again it is simple to understand that when we provide heat energy molecules go away from each other due to increased kinetic energy opposite to that when we want to change gases to liquid we have to decrease the kinetic energy of the molecules as we want to bring them closer so as i said to turn gases to liquid or liquid to solid we have to take the heat energy out from the molecule in other words it just means that we have to cool down the substance change from gaseous state to liquid is called as condensation liquid state to solid is called as freezing so we know that suppose we take example of ice ice in solid state when it is provided with heat energy it turns into liquid 
if we go on providing energy to the liquid water it is turned into gases whereas if i condense the water vapor it turns into liquid and if i freeze the liquid at 0 degree celsius in refrigerator it turns into ice again so in this video we have discussed about the changes in state how the changes are accompanied with energy changes and how heat energy plays a vital role to change the states of matter thank you